Hi friends, welcome to my series of space-themed science experiments. We have made space slime, we have made fizzy rockets, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to make a balloon rocket. <sighs> Stretch those rocket propulsion devices, I mean, your lungs, because we are getting ready to launch in three, two, one. This is the balloon rocket experiment from my first Stay Curious and Keep Exploring book. For this one, you're going to need balloons, string, any string that will fit through a straw will do, but I personally like fishing line or nylon string, a plastic straw, tape, and scissors. The first thing you wanna do is tape one end of your string up high. You can get really creative here. For example, in my studio, I taped mine to the ceiling. You can also tape it to railings or chairs or really anything that's up high in your house. Obviously, parents or guardians, this is something that you are going to want to do. Then cut the other end so that the length is long enough for the balloon to travel across. This can be anything from four feet or 20 feet. You can experiment here. Now, let's prepare our balloon rock. Take your plastic straw and cut it so that it's about three inches long. Boop! Ta-da! Prepare a few pieces of tape. Now blow up your balloon. Oops. Whew. Okay. Now tape on your straw. Carefully thread the other end of your string through the straw. Pull the string back so that the line is straight. And when you're ready for your balloon to launch, just let it fly. Woo! We are witnessing Newton's third law. For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Air is thrown out one way, making the balloon travel in the opposite direction. This is the same principle behind rockets. Flamey explosions go out one way, the rocket goes in another. You can encourage kids to race their balloons or see how many payloads they can add to their rocket by taping on coins or even Legos. This helps give them a more intuitive sense of how much harder it is to launch heavier stuff into space because gravity is our arch nemesis. Ready to launch? Whoa! How was the trip? Comment down below on how this experiment went for you and let me know what your kids or students launch with their rocket balloons. Thanks for doing science with me today. Stay tuned for many more science experiments. And as always, stay curious and keep exploring. We'll see you next time. <laughs>